Hi friends, in this video session we are going to discuss about Husky and Ang we are going to set up Husky with Angular 16 project. Because currently the latest version of Angular is 16, so we are going to set up this Husky on Angular 16. So let's, let's first understand what is Husky and how it help us, right? So let's search in the Google Husky. So we can see some dog sign and uh, there is Wikipedia also. Husky is a general term for dog used in the polar region. So here we got some basic idea. Husky something, this term is related to the dog. Now but we didn't get any more information what we are looking for. So let's search now Husky GitHub. So this is the first link where we can see the code related to husky but we want to go to the documentation so he, they have deployed the code onto the github on the type code so first click let's click on the husky okay now we are on the introduction page here some information provided about husky so let's read husky improves your commit and more you can use it to lint your commit message lint your commit message means so some company want to follow some process for commit message like if you are pushing the fix so you have to follow fix in in the beginning of the sentence and if you are pushing the feature then we have to use the commit message with the feed word right in today's session we are not going to implement this but apart from this we will implement everything and we can run the test like unit test case uh, if any error so it will get identified during the commit process itself right lint code we can lint the code right so when we commit or post husky support all client side jit hooks so when we click on this link it will open the husk uh, all the links related to the sorry all the hooks related to the jit so we can see all the hooks we can use okay so let's see this basic diagram and we will we will get more understanding why we are going to use husky so this is our jit flow so let's say when we are doing any change on any file so first we add that file and then we commit that file and then we push the file to the remote repository now in some company this jenkins build automatically trigger and in some company we have to manually trigger based on the DevOps setup right so let's say we are going to the Jenkins website we are building our project right so the first when we start the build it will run the lint command and then it will check your unit test case and then it will build the code and then deploy the code to the our development environment or test environment right so let's say you forgot to lint your code maybe you forgot to unit test kid case your code right and maybe sometime there is uh, AOT build right sometime AOT build work sometime it didn't work right okay let's not talk about AOT because now AOT is not uh, part of so every build is by default AOT so now those so will not come so let's talk about lint and unit task on only currently so let's say you commit your code and now it is on the remote repository and when the build start lint failed because there is some changes is required in your recent code so we can avoid the wasting time so right so we can we can avoid this unnecessarily trigger of build and sometime it takes lot of time right in uh, into the environment so we can avoid that and we can fix that issue before deploying to the before pushing the code to the remote repository so how husky help us it it manually trigger when we commit the code it will manually trigger lint command it can manually trigger unit test case command when we push the code it will manual it can manually trigger test or lint command it depending on our configuration right what we want to configure when you commit or push basically jit add command we are not using but in this in this setup we will not use jit mostly when we commit so we will uh, we will have some setup right so on jit push we will run the test commands and uh, on jit commit we will format the code right so i forgot to discuss about formatting the code 
so let's discuss about formatting the code also so in some companies like uh, there are a lot of developers and some some developer are using different different kind of formatter uh, formatter nothing just to format our code and some developer are not using format formatter and they are pushing their code without formatting and that looks ugly when some other developer reads right so we can also implement the formatter when we commit we can manually format the code so we are going to use prettier prettier formatter so that is the worldwide uh, like very popular um, formatter right we have we have that formatter available into the visual studio code also and we have the uh, we have the library in the npm also that we will be we will be using to set up this formatter so when we commit our code we will formatting so i think there are a lot of theory we have discussed so let's get started into the practical so this is the step by step guide so first of all we are going to create the angular application so cd desktop so we can i will just copy this and uh, you can type the ng new command to create angular project so i have given angular app husky setup name for the project angular routing i don't want currently and let's go with the css then after we are going to install prettier because we want to format our code on commit right so that will that it will help us so why we are actually installing the prettier because uh, we don't want to have different different formatter like it will solve the issue to unique formatter let's say if 10 developer are working together and some five developer are using different formatter so their code will be formatted according to this prettier okay and sometime we forgot then also it will automatically format the code so now let's install this library okay currently angular is installing okay our project is installed let's move to the project and uh, install the prettier npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev prettier so we are installing as a dev dependency and this is the basic configuration for the prettier so we want print width print width width 100 tab width 2 Fs false, single quote true, semicolon true, quote props preserve, back bracket spacing true. So just let's create this file into our project. So let's open in the Visual Studio code. Create prettier.rc file and copy this all property. Save it okay and then configure prettier create con prettier ignore file at the root of the project so some file we don't want to forget sorry we don't want to um, format so in that case we have to give those file here we don't want to format these files copy this um, line of code so let's create prettier ignore first okay paste this okay save it now we are good with the prettier now we have to install the pretty quick quick so what is the pretty quick use is we want to we want prettier to only run our changed file so we actually we actually want to format only the changed file we don't want to format all the existing file so now let's install pretty quick as a dev dependency and then add this pretty quick in the script section and this hyphen hyphen stage nothing just after formatting the files let's say you modified one file after formatting that file we want to add that file in the staged area right 
बिकॉज वेन वी वेन वी कमिट द कोड दोज फाइल ऑलरेडी स्टेज सो वी वी वॉन्ट टू री स्टेज दैट फाइल सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस स्क्रिप्ट इन गो टू द प्रोजेक्ट पैकेज डॉट जसोन स्क्रिप्ट सेक्शन एट दिस नाउ इंस्टॉल ई एस लिंट इन एंगुलर सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज द फ्रेश एंगुलर सिक्सटीन प्रोजेक्ट सो देयर इज नो लिंट इंस्टॉल्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द फ्रेश लिंट सेटअप और ई एस लिंट सेटअप सो वेन बी से एन जी लिंट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिपोर्ट एनी डेटा सो नो now it is asking would you like to add yes lint now because there is no setup so i want to install again it is asking would you like to proceed with angular yes lint semantics setup yes okay now we have lint also set up we can see here lint command is added after pretty quick okay so let's see the next step now finally we are going to install the husky and we can see in the documentation getting started section also there are two way we can use to install the husky the recommended way is automatic so we have to just run this command and and it will add prepare script your package dot json file create a sample pre commit it will create dot husky folder and in it it will create pre commit uh, file and uh, there we will have by default npm test command and configure git hooks path so it will configure the git hooks path also to add another hook so we can use this command to add another hook but we are going to use manual way so same i have copied the command here i am going to copy from here and uh, let's run the it will install the husky and install it okay yeah now husky is installed let's see the changes in our project so we can see here dot husky folder and it has pre commit uh, hook already available and it is running currently npm test but we don't want to do this on commit so let's see what we want to do so we want so we are going to update this pre commit file we are saying here run npm run pretty quick we want to format that file pretty quick is nothing just we configure previously so here we are saying first of all for format all the changed file and then stage date again stage nothing just git add right so let's let's uh, update this command here npm run pretty quick npm run pretty quick right after that we have we are going to create one more hook that is commit message so when we commit the message that time let's first let's create the file commit message okay and that time we want to run run the lint command so before that we need to copy this code so it is just a husky setup that we need in this hook file and uh, now let's say npm run lint and uh, we have to create one more file pre push so before pre push we want to test the unit test case so let's copy this code it is nothing just in the pre commit we have this code we first copy this pre push and then npm run test pm run test okay so now we have completed our husky setup now let's see if it is working fine or not so how to check this first of all we need to change some code so i'm going to remove the existing code and let's say um, dev dev to dev okay a and let's do some formatting issues so it is not properly formatted right now right and here we have some extra space here we have some extra space okay let's see if it 
formatting or not on commit because pre commit we are seeing pretty quick and it will uh, it will connect to the prettier library and format the code only the changed file so currently we have here 10 change file so let's not worry about other file we want to see only the app component.html formatting or not so i will see jit add star jit commit m first commit So now we can see there is one error is coming prettier resolve config sync is not a function. So the problem is in the prettier uh, latest version. So we can see the latest version currently is prettier uh, 3.0.3. So it has some issue with the uh, lint I think uh, yes lint. So we are going to downgrade prettier version. So let this is the command to install the prettier 2.8.0 version let's downgrade ok now let's try again jit commit first commit now we can see pretty quick stage uh, command is uh, ran and uh, finding changed file it is started finding changed file and fixing those file means it is fixing means it is uh, formatting the files now let's see if our html file also formatted or not so be changed it is not formatted why okay let's try to do this way now here we have unnecessarily space and uh, let's give more space here try to commit again just add a star okay yeah. now we can see this time all the unnecessarily spaces removed and the code is formatted so now our JIT commit is working fine let's try to push the code and see if unit test is also executing or not sorry uh, we have to see here uh, okay so here we actually first need to add the remote url um, i have not set up the jit properly but it will work since our uh, pre-commit is working so and commit message is working and uh, pre-commit also working right so push will also work i am not going to test uh, to because of our video length will be very high and we'll meet you in the next video